December 2014 in the White Mountains of Arizona. A trail cam placed near the carcass of an elk records a pack of Mexican wolves showing up for breakfast. It's nothing unusual, yet it's absolutely extraordinary especially when you consider that Mexican wolves nearly became extinct. <gasps> By the early 1970s, there were zero wild Mexican wolves in the United States, and only a smattering could still be found in Mexico. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service listed the Mexican wolf as an endangered species in 1976. Today, Mexican wolves are making a comeback in Arizona and New Mexico thanks to a captive breeding program and a reintroduction project that's been releasing and managing wolves since 1998. It's a partnership between the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the Arizona Game and Fish Department, the Forest Service, the White Mountain Apache Tribe, and the USDA Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service. From the get-go, the goal was a self-sustaining population of at least 100 wolves by 2006. It's taken us almost 10 years after that to even come close to that number. Go find a location on Rim, go find uh, Tsewa. Only you're gonna be over there on White Mountain. Jeff Dolphin is team leader for Arizona Game and Fish on the interagency field team, which does the day-to-day -day management of this experimental population of Mexican wolves. Does anybody not know what they're doing tomorrow? At the end of each year, the team does a population survey to find out how many wolves are living in the wild. We've got 10 animals. We're just trying to find uh, uh, 1331. The front seat can just turn the antenna and find the wolf just by turning it that way. They use radio telemetry to search for wolves wearing radio collars. When they find a wolf without a collar or one that needs a new one, they may try to capture it. Chasing wolves through tall trees in a helicopter is difficult. It's probably some of the most demanding flying I do, just between the terrain, the trees, and trying to follow a, a running wolf through the trees without running into anything, but it's, it's very demanding. And sticking it with a tranquilizer dart is never easy. I'm looking out of the helicopter, our muggers on the side, trying to locate the wolves with the to radio telemetry. What you're witnessing is wildlife management in action. It's unbelievably challenging. You just gotta be patient and persistent. And it's infinitely rewarding. All of these wolves right now are wild born, wild raised and uh, they're surviving on their own. They're not needing help to survive from us. They're doing what we want them to do, but we're really seeing a, a dramatic incline in the population right now. When a wolf is delivered, the processing team goes to work immediately. Who's the microchips? This animal came in pretty hot um, from the chase and everything else, and uh, through the IV fluids and cold packs, we've actually got her temperature back down to normal. The team documents the wolf's physical characteristics. It provides immunizations, monitors vital signs, and does any doctoring that's needed. So this is pretty much a resolving bite wound. The priority is to get the animal collared and back into the wild as soon and as safely as possible. For three straight years, the Mexican wolf population has increased by at least 10%. But this year's count was better than ever. The 2014 Mexican Wolf Population Survey documented a minimum of 109 wolves in the wild, a 31% increase that finally broke the century mark. We're busting at the seams with wolves right now for this recovery area. With 19 packs and 38 pups, the future is bright for Mexican wolves, and it's only getting brighter. In 2015, big changes to the rules governing the recovery efforts gave Mexican wolves more room to roam. The area they're allowed to occupy in Arizona and New Mexico grew from 7,000 to more than 150,000 square miles. And the goal for the number of wolves more than tripled, from 100 to as many as 325.
It's a number the project partners believe will give the wolves the greatest chance of success. A number that strikes a balance between the wolf population, available prey resources, and public acceptance. A number that ensures the Mexican wolf's comeback continues.